And here comes the rookie, Elias Pedersen in on his golden. Can't finish. Oh, tried that wraparound move, quick stop, bring it back on the forehand side. Hudobin just kind of slams on the break. Good reaction there with the right pad to stuff it. No chance pushing it through that. First shooter for the Dallas Stars tonight is going to be Alexander Radulov, who's got the game tying goal. Came in the third period, is 27th, and he's going to try to get the Stars on the board here in the shootout. Radulov in, stopped by Markstrom. Radulov trying to go to that backhand quick, and he, I think he wanted to elevate this one a little more than he did, and it kind of rolls off of his stick. He gets it up a little bit, but kind of throws it right into Markstrom, who's right there to snuff it out. Next shooter for the Canucks, Schrock Besser. Here comes the Brock star on this Saturday night. Try to go five hole, no. Tell you who Dobin's got the quick reflexes and good job by him to get down quickly. That quick release right there, a little flick trying to go five hole, Besser and who Dobin once again gets those pads down, makes the save. And now it's Tyler Sagan who had great chances in the third, a chance in overtime. And he's going to try to get the opening goal in this shootout. Both goalies holding serve. Sagan in on Jacob Markstrom. No serve. Markstrom holds his ground again. Goaltending clinic here. Just great job by both guys to be patient, wait, not bite on the moves. And Sagan here, fake, 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 couple flares. Even changes his speed a little bit and then goes to the backhand. But Marstrom doesn't bite on any one of those and is able to make the save with the blocker. And so now it's Tanner Pearson who got the game deciding goal in the shootout on Thursday night in the fourth round. He'll be the third shooter tonight for Travis Green and the Canucks. In comes Pearson on Hudobin. Pearson waits in. Across with a pad is Hudobin, and we still do not have a goal in this shootout. Yeah, good shot fake by Pearson here. He really sells it here. And he likes to let that release go from that offside, being a left-handed shot, and then tries to smoothly bring it over to the forehand again. Kind of rolls on him at the last second, but Hudobin was there. And now the captain. Jamie Benn from Victoria, BC, with a goal here against Markstrom, can end this thing and take his team to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here comes Benn for the win. Stopped by Markstrom. Boy, you can hear a pin drop in here when he started to get going to that strike came in with a lot of speed down the right hand side takes an angle changes it tries to bring it back and go high on the blocker side and once again just so steady Jacob Markstrom doesn't bite on any of it and makes it, it makes the save look easy which it was fourth round Josh Lebo won the shootout the last time these two teams met on St. Patrick's Day in Dallas gonna get it done again here picks up the puck in on Hudobin Lebo in no Hudobin got a piece of that Tell you, not the biggest guy, Anton Hudobin. Watch him come out. He matches the speed coming back and just old school there. A little flare of the pad. The nice Levu who tries to go far side. And here comes the fourth shooter for the Dallas Stars. Again with a chance to win this thing. John Klingberg, the defenseman. Here comes Klingberg. In on Mark's jump. Shoot stop by Markstrom again. And we are around of round five. <laughs> well, it went five Thursday for Dallas, and it was Jamie Benn that was able to win that one for them. Klingberg shot in that game, too, and this time tries to shoot on Marstrom. Again, good pad save. Bo Horvat is at a career season. He's shooter number five for the Canucks. Here's Bo. Hits the crossbar. 
Uh, good stop up by Bo Horvat here. And I like this when shooters do this. It really does kind of mess up the goaltender because they want to try and match that speed coming back. So he slams on the break, couple more moves. Patrick Kane has really made that so effective and he rings it off the bar. Had Hudobin beat, but not the post. And now it's the veteran, 35-year-old Jason Spezza in his 16th season. All that experience, here he comes. Spezza for the win. In, stopped by Markstrom. Round six. Good move, too. Goes to the backhand, actually elevates this nicely as he brings it over. He's got that long reach. He's always been so smooth. He has that real low lie on his stick, so he keeps that stick way out in front of him, and Markstrom has to reach to make that save, and he makes it. Over the boards for Vancouver comes Ryan Spooner. Here's Spooner, and shoots for a long way out, and Hudobin got that. Up against his old teammate from Boston, Hudobin and Spooner. They've gone at this a couple of times in practice. And really not hard to say who has the advantage there. Spooner tries to fake, go for a quick release, and Hudobin once again, good positioning, makes the save. What a display by both net miners. Another defenseman shooting now for the Dallas Stars. It's the rookie, Nero Haskinen, in glove save, Markstrom. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these goalies are dialed in right now. Every single shot. These are some good shots and some good plays and a glove hand save. And this is the ovation for Quinn Hughes who just jumped over the court. The 19-year-old and the crowd rises to its feet. What a moment. All right, Quinn. Here's your time on a Saturday night. No. Kind of lost the handle a bit. Yeah, he's watched a lot of guys go in and try and beat Hudobin, and they haven't done any shot in the game Thursday versus Los Angeles, too. And I don't think he – that wasn't a mishandle. I think he did that on purpose, actually. He might have tried to go over the puck and fake and then bring it back again, and Hudobin's dialed in. He didn't bite on the first one. Seventh shooter for the Dallas Stars. Rope hits. Here he comes. And we are going to an eighth round. Yeah, I'll tell you, I just can't believe this. Some great shooters, some good moves, guys picking corners, and both goalies just, you know what? Brushing that aside on the blocker side, Markstrom on hints. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's got to score. Next batter here. up. Nobody has scored. Eight shooter for the Canucks is Marcus Grandlin. Grandlin in. mobbed over the bench. <laughs> the dam had to break eventually. And just a nice little move here by Granlin. And he's seen so many guys shoot, try and deke and go high. And this is a KG old move here. Just quick move, tuck to the backhand. He beats Hudobin, who reacts a little too far. And now Yanmark has to score. Goes wide. Yanmark fires it high. Canucks win it. 